Hi folks, Tim here from High End at Cheap Tech. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit about why I never got outside today, never got to take any pictures, uh, because I spent about two and a half to three hours figuring this thing out. And I don't quite have it figured out yet. I mean, I figured out the basics, you know, flipping it open and all that good golly stuff. But it's... It's not as easy as, you know, they go, oh, it's real simple. It's not that simple, folks. But I'll be right back after the intro, and I'll go over the details. Hi, folks. Tim here again from High End Cheap Tech. I'm back. Um... So we're going to just talk about the uh, DJI Osmo here for a few minutes. I'm going to keep this as short and as sweet as possible. Uh, basically, you know, I know how to open it up and unlock it, you know, how to mount the phone, kind of how to balance it. I did learn one thing, these big old version techs. Uh, I won't be using those with it because it tends to pull it down out of balance because the cables are pretty heavy. You know, a lot of weight hanging there. I'll have to use a lava layer if I want to use an external mic, or I'll just use the internal mic, which is pretty darn good. Uh, I may have to boost it a little during a video, but that's all right. But don't let anyone tell you that the learning curve isn't pretty steep. I mean, I did get the uh, firmware update installed that went slick as a, you know... Baby's bottom, nothing to it. Uh, it's a good product, folks. Uh, the tripod goes right in it there. We're using the tripod right now over in the Impulse Selfie Stick because, well, obviously, we're not using the Osmo Mobile. We could be, but then I gotta go through the Memo app and figure out where the files go, and uh, it gets complicated. For now, we're going to you know, stick to home videos being shot on the selfie stick because it works so damn well. It has a front fill light. I guess you could probably mount a fill light or I maybe need to put one up on the desk here. Uh, that'll happen eventually. Uh, beyond that, I don't have much to say about it except uh, is it worth your money? Definitely. Is the learning curve, you know, everyone, oh, it's easy to use. Bull doo doo. There's 8 million tutorials on it. 8 million tutorials. So, I don't believe it for a second. But this is just a simple matter of, yeah, I can just grab that and do this and do that. Doesn't work that way, kids. It just doesn't work that way. And then I have to hunt down my sounds. Oh, I guess I can get them off the other one. Maybe. Uh, we'll see. Uh, for the intro and all that, which, you know, gets added in the outro. But thanks for watching. Uh, Believe me, uh, don't expect to be using this thing in like just one day. Uh, three, three and a half hours of just sometimes utter frustration, sometimes just banging my head going, why did I listen to this video? This guy left out all the good stuff. And the Memo app looks good, but it has about eight thousand different uh, settings I gotta learn all those so we're gonna have to watch a few more tutorials and then uh, we'll get this sucker figured out and hopefully within a day or two I'll have wasted enough time on the internet to uh, say eh, it's not too bad so we'll get back to you uh, tomorrow with something for now, 
We are shooting on the Mi A3, which incidentally got a security update last night. Uh, it at least has a February one. The Mi A2 still is in January. I don't know what's going on there. It's kind of like they alternate. So we're going to leave it right there. Thanks for watching. And remember, like, share, subscribe. Read all the links in the description below for products I've used or talked about. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Have a great evening or morning or night whenever you get around to watching this.